What's going on gang? Paul Matrix here and today we are taking a look at Transformers Titans Returns, Legends Class, Roadburn, and Brawn. Now Roadburn is actually the Throttlebot Chase, just renamed. And look at that artwork. That is some lovely artwork. I love it. I think it looks really good. And so's Bronze. Bronze's artwork is even cooler. He's practically holding up a bridge there or something. It's really, really cool. So let's open up these figures and take a look at them. Out of the packaging, both figures look pretty good, but we are going to start with Roadburn, otherwise known as Chase. The figure is modeled in red, black, silver, and yellow. It looks very good. His head sculpt is also quite good, though it is completely different from the rest of the figure. Nowhere else on the figure are there blue and gold. The figure is a retool of Bumblebee, whom I have already reviewed, and I think he actually works better than Bumblebee. The mold still isn't great, but the coloring of the mold is much better and much more even than Bumblebee's. As I said in the Bumblebee review, the colors of, or the paint of yellow in the different spots are different on the figure, and that always drives me batty. But Bumblebee is fine, I guess. But I think Roadburn works a lot better for this mold, especially considering he is a, or I should say was, a throttle bot. And this definitely makes me think of a throttle bot. Well, this mold does anyway. Posability, ball joint in the elbow and the shoulder. Head is on a swivel. Ball joint in the hip. Couple of, well, joints here in the foot and the leg for the transformation. You could get some decent poses. He has nice wide feet, though the pins here in the knee and in the well, I guess that would be the ankle, are a little bit on the loose side. Nothing a little bit of pledge won't fix. Transformation is pretty easy, though it is a bit fidgety. Turn the arms, or the forearms, a quarter turn towards the inside of the figure. Grab the entire head and the shoulder section and flip it up, and then kind of bend it at the hinge until it snaps. Grab the chest, flip the chest open, and flip out the entire roof and hood of the vehicle mode, putting that over the robot's head, then slide the shoulders up and peg the shoulders into the back of the vehicle mode, or specifically the bumper, I should say, and then just get the arms lined up, then grab the feet, combine them together with the grill, and then they will collapse down and into place then you collapse the legs and peg them into place to form the front of the vehicle mode. The car mode we end up with is fine. It's fine. There is a little bit of paint difference on the sides of the roof than on the sides of the vehicle, but the red and the black work much better than the all yellow that we have with Bumblebee. I just think the mold works better as a throttle bot colored in red and black than a Bumblebee with yellow and a little bit of black. It's not awful, but it's definitely not my favorite Legends class figure. Braun, on the other hand, is really nice. The green, the silver, the yellow, and the gray-ish all work really, really well. He is a very well-proportioned figure. Definitely, definitely feels like the original G1. Ball joints in the shoulders and the elbows, ball joint in the hip, swivel at the thigh, over a 90 degree bend at the knee. His heels are little feet that fold out. Very, very cool. He has this little tiny accessory that is the top part of, well, part of his vehicle mode, and it can peg into either arm that he can use as a shield, like a buckler, or I'm guessing those are guns at the top. So just a little bit of added coolness to the figure, but in robot mode, you could simply peg it into his back because I never thought Braun needed a gun. I always thought Braun was just cool on his own. Oh, head is on a swivel, but very difficult to move, as you can see. Head sculpt is excellent and just oozes that wonderful G1 flavor. Also, in a very disturbing, maybe ironic twist, Braun is the only figure in the line that can hold his own Titan Master. That's right. We have two Brauns in this toy line a full figure and a Titan Master. And I'm sure they will have arguments with each other. Bronze transformation is very simple, but satisfying. To start off with, remove the accessory and put it off to the side. Combine the legs together. They are, com they, the legs combine via this single pin. It sometimes doesn't get lined up. Fold the feet 
or I should say fold the heels underneath the feet and then fold the feet up and peg them into the back or I should say his butt. Then you're supposed to rotate the robot head around. At least the directions say to do that. You don't have to. Then take the arms, or I should say the forearms, fold them so that the holes on the forearms are pointing towards the front of the robot mode, then collapse them up and peg them into place like so. Then take the bit that we had before that was the accessory and peg it into the back of the vehicle mode. Oh, I have it turned around like that. So you have the lights pointing to the back and then you have this really, really nice upgraded alt mode from his original G1 Land Rover. This is more of a Hummer than a Land Rover, but I think it works incredibly well for Brawn. It, it just is an absolutely beautiful alt mode. One key difference, though, there's room for a Titan Master in here. So we are going to inception this thing and put the Brawn Titan Master in the Brawn Legends class figure with the Brawn Dune Buggy, or Jeep in this case. So, yeah, we got double the Brawn going on here. And for the record, you can fit a Titan Master inside Runabout. Or, Runabout, jeez, Road Burn. So you can fit a little Titan Master in there and trap him in there as well. So that does work. Of the two figures we have here, Brawn is definitely the better of them. I just have more fun with Brawn, and I think that might be because, one, he's G1 accurate. Well, as G1 accurate as you're going to get. And two, the mold is just better. I, at least, I think it is. It's more sturdy, it holds together better, and the transformation is more fun, I think. It's not a bad figure. I'm sorry, Chase. Chase. I keep calling him Chase. Ugh. Not Chase. Roadburn isn't a bad figure. It's just not the best mold. Braun, on the other hand, is absolutely fantastic and without a doubt belongs in your collection. So, gang, I hope you've enjoyed this video review. As always, I am Bolt Matrix. I ask you to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you next time.